C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Portal 2. My name is Sora 88 and today we are starting to explore the ruined uh, the ruined ruins <laughs> of Aperture Science. We fell down along with alongside with Gladys. We separated unfortunately because a bird was attempting to eat her. And uh, yeah, we are now trapped in the old, old, old test chambers of Aperture Science. We are currently in the chambers developed, I think, in 1959, if I recall correctly. And uh, yeah, uh, we're about to start in the first one, so I guess let's just go. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Broke all his bone, all, all the bones in his legs. And I love the condescending, nonchalant uh, attitude of Cave Johnson. <laughs> He's just like, ah, yeah, that's what they told me. <laughs> he almost died, and that, that, that's okay. Uh, okay, so you are here, and I think we're supposed to go up. And there's a lot of test chambers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. Yeah, so let's just go into the first one, I guess. Um, remember. This test is unsolvable without an aperture science portable quantum tunneling device. That's what it was called before. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any shaft nine enrichment activities. And look at the design of that thing it was huge, amazing. Amazing how they went from that to this small portable gun. Repulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let, let, let me rephrase it again. Did you know Repulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a, a dietetic pudding substitute? It's true. The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass. <laughs> Jesus Christ of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out of his, her, his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. No fucking joke. For more information, consult the following fact placards. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Repulsion jail lawsuits concerning Repulsion jail, public outrage over. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Aperture Science fact placard, repulsion jail. Okay. So, yeah, if I remember well, this is just like one. This just allows you to bounce off. No wonder why, if you ate this thing, uh, all of the things in your stomach would like just be bouncing inside your uh, guts <laughs> but yeah okay now okay we have to reach the exit so I'm guessing the higher I jump uh, the higher I will bounce if I remember correctly button first. There we go. Oh, the prototype of the cube. Look at this. Oh, it's a cutie. It's made, of, it's made out of wood? Wow. Okay, so the button. I love the analog 
uh, way this looks. Temperature Science Innovators. Nice. So nice. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Next uh, test chamber this way. And of course there's no there's no railroad. Okay. I'm not supposed to go up there. There's a portal here. And a portal here. There we go. Oh, just a small office here. Okay. Nice little touch. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> they were giving cancer to all of their test subjects. <laughs> okay. And uh, this is now 1953. Okay. Oh, look at the analog way this all functions. I love it. I freaking love it. Okay, so first we need uh, a cube, I guess. Oh, no, no. Uh, I moved too far. Okay, there we go. Ooh, barely. Hours now. And, uh, I'm supposed to uh, this up here. And now what? I'm not going to be able to reach there. Oh wait, what if I use it? Nope. Uh, huh. Let's see. Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm such an idiot. I mean, what's this here? Jesus Christ. Okay, and now what? Uh, So you can jump like this. <laughs> nice. I love the music. I always love the music. Okay, now we can do this. And go. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. <laughs> we haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. 
So first we had uh, Gladys's unhinged burns. Now we have uh, Cave Johnson's. Um, I don't know. What do you guys suggest for for this section of the of the shorts that we are going to be using? I'll come up with something, but if you guys have any suggestions, I'm more than glad to take them up. <laughs> All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, this guy, uh, I mean, Gladys was uh, just burning us with, with her humor. This guy is just straight up like a sociopath, I don't know if that's the term. But he doesn't care about what he's doing to these people. He's killing people actively. And he's just like, oh yeah, that that's a thing. That that just happens. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know how to call that. Okay, so there's the exit. How are we supposed to reach that place? Place a okay, place portal there. Then up here. Yeah, I think that's it. And then that way we can enter here. <laughs> I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Ramps are expensive. Wow, dude. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now we have a gel pump here. Uh, so yeah, the gel is going to come down here. It will uh, reach the portal. So maybe we can place the other one here. Yep. Remember, don't get covered in it. I'm just gonna try and fill the whole place with this gel because I don't know where I'm supposed to balance off. <laughs> and okay, so we are good here. That's enough. How do we reach the exit? Oh, hold B to prevent bouncing. So you can actually stop bouncing. Yeah. Right now I actually need it to bounce off. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I will reach it from here, but we can try. Oh, okay, I need to... Okay, 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 okay. I 
I get it. We need to paint blue. All that stuff. So from here. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Yes. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. And why would you tell me that? I mean, I, I know I didn't drink any coffee, but yeah. Now, this is 1957. Jesus Christ, this guy. He's just like killing everyone. Oh my god. If you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. 500 degrees. Jesus Christ, what you, what, what were you guys doing here? <laughs> 1958, okay. And now we have water as well. Water and blue gel. Okay. Uh, so I need to reach there. How much time is that? It's not a lot. There we go. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Time travel. What?! Remember, if a future dude tries to warn you about this test, don't listen. What?! They were mentally with time travel? In the 50s? <laughs> what? What? Uh, huh? Okay. Uh, so let's see. I guess we need that. And then we need this. Oh no. Just like here. Accident hurts you, you will be hurt. Co-workers don't endanger others. The company replacements are costly. And science investigations impede progress. Okay. What? So I'm 
supposed to reach there. But how? Wait, how though? Just guessing by now. And I'm guessing actually I have to place the portal here. And that will make me bounce over there. Okay. I jump from here. No! Why did I advance? <laughs> I thought I was just going to jump like um, in my place. But yeah, I guess I, I guess I get it. Hopefully, there's a portal here. Here. Oh, it was easier than I expected, sorry about that. Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> and then over here, over here. Oh Jesus. Maybe a little bit higher. Right over there. If you're hearing this, this it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. tests. The lab boys, boys say that might be a fear reaction. reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm up a beach, or bring back gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, and before we enter this chamber, actually, I think... Uh, that's uh, that's it for today's episode guys <laughs> I really hope you are enjoying and if you are please consider leaving a like and maybe subscri subscribing to my channel if I can speak and I'll see you in the next test chamber I guess see ya